Hi, it's Christy from GovGirl.com. This video is about Christy's favorite WordPress plugins. Thought I'd try a little something different with the place. Hopefully you like it. WordPress seems like it's everywhere lately in government. Uh, you've got, at, at the local level, you've got cities using it for their full-blown website. The cities of Maynard and De Leon, Texas. Uh, San Francisco has built a couple sites on WordPress. Even the city of Reno, we have our Around the Arch blog on WordPress. At the federal level, I believe the Library of Congress has a WordPress blog. I know the Air Force does. So WordPress is a popular open source blogging software, but you can really use it for anything. I actually use WordPress for the GovGirl website. I like the WordPress platform so much because it integrates so well with social media, and that's why a lot of governments like to use it. So a plugin for WordPress is basically a way to extend the out-of-the-box functionality of WordPress, so you can make it do a lot of different things. I like that WordPress makes it so easy for you to install a plugin. All you have to do is log into the admin backend and then you can browse the plugins based on whatever you're looking for. So you can type in a keyword in there. And it's an open source development community so they have uh, just tons of people all over the world who are working on these plugins and they give them to you for free. Alright, so the first one, this is absolutely necessary. You have to have it. a Kismet. A Kismet. I don't know how to pronounce it. Every time I pronounce it wrong, someone quickly tells me how to pronounce it correctly, and then I quickly forget the correct pronunciation. So I have no idea how to pronounce this, but you can see it there on the screen. Anyway, it, uh, it blocks spam. It blocks spam really, really, really well. I uh, maybe only get one or two spam come through every couple of weeks. It blocks thousands of spam for you. And then you're going to want to have a plugin that really helps you out with search engines and what they call SEO, your search engine optimization, and so it helps you be ranked better. So uh, I recommend the all-in-one SEO pack. After you install this, it gives you extra stuff that you can do with each page. So you can put additional meta description or keywords or titles on the page or post. It helps your internal search as well as search engines like Google to be able to find your site and it helps you be ranked higher. Speaking of Google, there is another other plugin that I recommend. It's called Google XML Sitemaps. This will automatically create a sitemap for your WordPress site, which basically lists out all the web pages that you have, and it'll submit it to Google. So Google uh, knows these pages are there. They can index it better and quicker. Most traffic comes from Google to your website anyway. You may not have heard about this plugin. It's called User Photo. But before I talk about that, let me explain to you what a Gravatar is. A Gravatar is like an internet stalker, okay? It follows you around every website you go to on the internet. Have you ever wondered when you reply to a blog post, then there's all these other blog posts and they have these their little thumbnail of their picture with them, their little profile pic. And you're like, how did they get the profile pic in there? All they asked for was uh, their name and their email address and their comment. So how did that happen? Well, that person has probably gone to gravatar.com, created a profile, added any email address that they wanted and uploaded a profile pic. And then that follows you around no matter what website you go to. If you use that email address, then your Gravatar shows up. Well, sometimes people just don't want to go to Gravatar.com or they, they don't know about it, it's difficult to explain it to them. So this user photo plugin will allow you to basically any anyone who registers on your site, they can easily just upload their photo through that. You can also have the Gravatar photo override that if they have a Gravatar photo. So it's, it's a great plugin, I like it. Here's another must have for government blogs that accept comments. It's called Register Plus. I'm not saying the third word because you have no idea how to pronounce it. Is it French? So if you're accepting comments on your site, this plugin will allow you to enhance the registration. So you can actually even put a checkbox in there to basically require the user to accept a disclaimer. You can add all different types of fields that you might need to. And with a government blog, you want to make sure that they're using their real first name and real last name so you can have them accept that disclaimer about your comment policy and things like that. So the Register Plus plugin I'll help you do that. So nowadays all sites have to be shareable, right? So this great WordPress plugin is called Sociable. It's so easy to install and set up and you get to select what types of social bookmarking and social sharing accounts you'd like people to connect to. So basically 
People read your page or they read your blog post and if they want to tweet it, bam, it's there. If they want to Facebook it, bam, it's all there for them. People expect that nowadays. So Sociable, great plugin. Another plugin is Flexible Lightbox. There's a lot of different WordPress Lightbox plugins. I found that Flexible works the best for me. Basically, when you click on a picture, it pops open in an overlay on the website. If there's multiple pictures, you can click next and click through them. It's just a nice way to present photos on the website without having to have the user click on the photo, go to another page, clicking the back button. I really like that one. And finally, you have to install WP Touch. I love this plugin. You don't have to do anything and it makes your entire WordPress website mobile friendly, right? So let me show you. Can you see it? This is govgirl.com. Are you looking? Can you, can you see it? You want to... Okay, I'll come to you. Check it out. It just made my whole website mobile friendly all the posts are there you see a little thumbnail with the post I didn't do anything and it's just set up so what are you gonna do when you get home today or if you're already at home that's right you're gonna install WP touch that's all for this GovGirl video please subscribe at youtube.com slash govgirlblog by the way if you'd like to be a part of GovGirl maybe even be on a future video let me know at the website govgirl.com and we'll be in touch